Hello everyone, all of you beautiful people. Thank you for joining me today. I got my Ipsy bag in the mail. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you everything that I got. This theme for this month was Beauty Schooled. And it looks like there's a challenge on here. If I write down a beauty tip and put it on Instagram, then I might have like, I'll enter myself in some kind of contest. So that's kind of cool. I might actually use this because yes, I still am in school right now. This is like a pencil bag type thing that we got this month. Um, yeah, it's not like my favorite bag ever, but I could actually have use for it because I'm in school. So I might actually use that. But before I open the actual um, pencil bag, I wanted to show you this, which I am really, really happy with. This is um, a mini size of the Urban Decay 24 Selvet. 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Pencil, and I got the color plushy, I think. Let me let me look at this. kind of shows you different ways to use the colors that they have, and I guess this is like imitating the model on the front, who looks extremely beautiful. I love the picture on the front of this little card. Yes, this is the color plushy, from what I understand is kind of like a matte finished deep purple, and let me just say that I love um, these eyeliners already and I really like a very matte look to my eyes. I don't really like shiny eyeliner at all um, And I love purple eyeliner. It really brings out my brown eyes So I am going to be using that and I'm going and I know I'm going to enjoy it because I love the 24-7 pencils So that was a really good hit in my ipsy bag. So so far so good now for the actual bag There's four things in here this is the Chlorine, I think I'm saying that right, um, dry shampoo. And I've actually been wanting a new dry shampoo, um, so I'm actually really, really happy that I got this. It smells really, really good. Kind of reminds me of Herbal Essences. This is the perfect size because I will get at least a few uses out of this, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And now that we're in the summer months, my scalp is a little bit more oily than in the winter months. Um, because I'm outside a lot, I do tend to get a little bit of oil going after a couple of days without washing, so I will be using that dry shampoo. This is something that I'm kind of eh about, but I can't really complain because I got a full-size bronzer in my first Ipsy bag, so I am excited for this. I'm just not, like, super happy just because, like, it's so tiny. That's just, it's a little bit stingy, but that's okay. I And the colors are really pretty, so I'm not really complaining that much. This is a blush sample from Coastal Scents, and it looks like there's a coupon code. And it comes with like a berry shade on the right, and then like a matte peachy deep coral on the left. So I'll go ahead and swatch those for you guys. And the blushes are really pigmented. You can, might not be able to see that on camera, but I think they'll go on very, very pretty. And so I am excited to try them. I've been kind of actually wanting to get more things from Coastal Scents lately because I've always loved my warm palette, and I know that I would love other products of theirs. This is something that I'm very happy about because I really, really love lip balm. I always have one in my purse. I have some in my drawers, my vanity. I have some in my backpack when I'm at school. Um, this is the Mongongo Nutrient Defense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner, and it's organic. Let's see if I can get it open. It smells very, very heavily of, like, minty lemon or something. I don't know if there's a, if there's a scent on here. Oh, Mandarin Green Orange Ginger. It smells really, really good. I'll let um, you guys know if I think it's moisturizing. And the last thing is something by J Cat Beauty. Um, this is Flying Solo. That's, um, I guess, Flying Solo is the name of the single eyeshadows, I guess. The color is called Half Naked. And I'm always looking for a pretty shimmery color to put all over my lids. So I'm very happy with this. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Pigmentation is very smooth, goes on like butter. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy this eyeshadow. The packaging kind of reminds me of NYX. And on the back, I see the little bunny on here, so that means that it's cruelty free. So, yeah, that is it for my Ipsy bag this month. As far as last month, um, I did use the beach spray today. Let me know um, if you guys think that my hair looks okay. I don't know. I think it looks good, but I mean, like, I don't mind taking some crit criticism on how my hair looks. Um, yeah, last month I really, really liked the beach spray. I've been loving the tinted lip balm that I used in my last tutorial. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of giving you guys an overview. 
I love the Pop Beauty bronzer. Like, I'm super happy with that. I didn't really use the tanning oil because I get tan naturally anyway, so I gave it to my friend Brooke. And I can't remember what the last thing was in my Ipsy bag last month, but I'm very, very excited for this month. I always think that um, based on the videos that I watch from other people and based on the two bags I've gotten so far, that Ipsy is always really, really, really good value. Like this is definitely valued over $10. So I'm very, very happy. And I will leave my referral link for Ipsy down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.